Uh, we are going to cook up a feast outdoors. As you can see, we have a lovely spread here. Celebrity chef. Rob Rainford is with us. Do you like being called a celebrity chef? I just just call me a chef. That's well, good but that's you are a celebrity enough. though because you were on the TV for what seven years in the Food Network. Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. The show was uh, uh, called Licensed to Grill, so you're no stranger to television here. Absolutely not. I enjoy that medium, and I enjoy cooking even more. Awesome. Well, and I can tell that you enjoy cooking. Uh, the stuff that you have out here right now, it smells, looks delicious. Uh, but we're talking basically about uh, the benefits of natural gas here today as well. My job here today is to tell you how to extend your barbecue season from summer, move it into fall, and then move it right into winter. Okay. Having a natural gas supply, okay, and it's an endless supply, you never have to worry about running out of things. That happens to many of us while we're doing that ultimate barbecue. Mm -hmm. We run out of our fuel, something yeah. happens, you go, wow. Yeah. Tie this off to the line, right to the house. Have one of these units on place always. You'll be a happy person for it. Tell them, yeah. Rob Rainford said, <laughs> you should be very happy. You should be well, very happy. I, I think anybody who's going to get to this year round, like steaks that look like this, taste like this because of the grill, how can they not be happy, right? So uh, so first of all, what are you cooking up for us? Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bean salad, which has already been prepared. You're going to dress that for me, which is on the side. We'll okay. do it a little bit later. Okay. We've got these beautiful inch and a half steaks, yeah. strip loins, beautiful babies. We got our, uh, we got our pea, uh, sorry, they're not peas, they're potatoes. potatoes. And then we have our nectarines. You can use peaches when they're in season, nectarines whenever, okay. as long as you have something moving. I took the liberty of starting a few things, so I've got my potatoes on. But I'd like you to help me out with... Sure. You know I is, will. Okay, perfect, perfect. What I would like you to do is you're going to take my paprika. Yep. You're going to dump it in there. All, All right. right. Oh, now okay. this is the this, yeah that's, that's good. That's you can good. tell he likes I'll, what he does. I'll, here. I'll, take, I'll take the garlic and I'll yeah. put that in because I'll have those garlic fingers. You can take the thyme. Yeah, okay. Chuck that in. Sure. All right, perfect. And then we'll put a little bit of parsley. Okay. And what we're going to do is just a little bit of oil. We're going to drizzle the oil. Yeah. And you're going to put all that stuff on top of that. All perfect. right. Please so and thank you. Here. While you're doing that, and I'll use my hands. I'll mix that around for you. Okay. I've got a little. Oh, look at this that! Works you know what? Oh, yeah, I'm actually. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. Thank you very much. Oh. We don't have. Yeah, we don't have to touch that anymore. <laughs> so what I have here is a little bit of coffee. Yeah, coffee. Take. It's not just for morning uh, breakfast anymore. Okay, right? This is now a rub that I'm going to put. So I put a little brown sugar, a little bit of um, cinnamon here, and I'm just going to pop this right on top of my steak. Wow. Think about that. The flavors that you're going to get from that cup of joe in the morning, you're going to have it right here on your steak. So this is a caffeinated piece of meat. It's slightly caffeinated, <laughs> slightly <laughs> which caffeinated. Is, which is fun. I think there'd be a market for this. So again, at this point, all we want to do is just make sure that the dry rub is in. Yeah. Touch of oil on top. Okay. And then pop this onto the grill. So all right. let's take a look at that. So what do we have to have that uh, grill warmed up to? to be, uh... I like my grill on a two-tiered system. Okay. 500 degrees and about 350 and down. Okay. So high, medium, medium low. Okay. And Beautiful. I just keep working my way all through my grill like that. Sure. Um, again, potatoes that are on already, all you simply have to do is just put those right beside your steaks. Then you don't have to worry about no fuss. No muss. All of this stuff works just perfectly. Now, do the potatoes take longer or shorter amounts now, of time? Now, the potatoes are a little bit of a secret I have. Yeah. What I like to do with the potatoes is I boil them inside, simmer them for about halfway of its cooking doneness, take it out, cool it, and then pop them onto the grill. Ooh. You don't have to worry about anything. That sounds My really good. job is to make your life as easy as possible. Okay. We also have the peaches or nectarines that are going to be for dessert. Pop those guys on as well. All you have to do is put a little bit of sugar if they're not super, super sweet, but just allow these guys to grill up nicely. Yep. They're in front of you. Serve them with a little bit of cream, a little bit of honey at the end of this cooking process. Is that a new yeah. thing, though? Because I, I normally don't see people cooking up like peaches or nectarines or anything like that. You can grill just about anything you would like yeah. on the planet. Um, what I would like to suggest is expand your repertoire yeah. just by one degree of anything that you're thinking of. I'm literally telling you, everything you see here can be put onto a grill. Okay. That's life. Some of the benefits as well, of course, uh, cooking with natural gas compared to... Well, again, it's the endless supply. It's the fact that you're never going to run out of it. It's actually a little bit cheaper. If you look at it over the lifespan, you're saying, I'm going to actually save a few dollars over the whole barbecue really? season. Okay. So it's a, another thing that you could take a look at. Um, again, all of these recipes are found on clean, clean, what do we got? There? We got it right here. Clean and affordable. Clean and affordable. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. I love that. I love clean that. Clean and affordable.ca. 
okay. Uh, amazing. Now, now, is there is this sort of a myth? Maybe like you're cooking outside. Does the food taste better because you're cooking outside in the fall months, perhaps? I you think it's that goes back to that cave person. Yeah. Okay. That the fact that our knuckles used to drag drag on the floor. <laughs> we just love Mine that flavor. We just we just we just love yeah. that flavor combination. It's just the open flame, and that's all it is. It's just being really kissed by outside, and being outside is even more fun than being inside for most people. Yeah. Uh, and again. It's always, always warm. But you're talking about winter months as well, so yeah. um, I mean, it's, it's always warm here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely always warm. warm here. But still, I, I don't know. Are you a winter griller yourself? I, 365 days of the year, you can find me outside. I have a toque on, and I'm outside having fun. Wife just waves at me. You know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, it listen. It, you, don't, you don't have to be a, yeah. a purist like I am. Anybody that says, you know what, I just want a grilled element to one of the dishes that I'm going to be cooking over the winter, you would do it in a heartbeat. Okay, awesome. So how are things looking over there? Things are looking really good. <laughs> going to give a nice little turn. We look at our potatoes. And again, all these things, and I'm sorry my back is to you. It's okay. All these things take roughly about, the steaks, about seven minutes per side for an inch and a half thick medium rare. 125 degrees internal temperature, you're going to get beautiful rare color. Yeah. Um, Everything else here, all you want to do is just get a little bit of color on it. If you're on a windy day like today, close the lid, yeah. allow the barbecue to generate back its heat again, and then you're laughing. Just don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Stay outside Stay with outside it. You know? sure. Have a cerveza, have something else that yeah. you can Especially play with. in the winter months. Too. Of course, of like course. A lot of, a lot of fun. So, of course, uh, the website, once again, is cleanandaffordable.ca. This is where most of your recipes are on there. All the recipes. Uh, outside of uh, cooking uh, meat, cuts of steak, beef, what else do you have on that uh, website? You can find about any vegetable that you can think of, even those green beans and the yellow beans there. If you want to just give it a little quick grill mark, they taste even better. Yeah. So I like to say to people, if you want to put it on the grill, go ahead for it. If you don't, even the potatoes, you don't have to put it onto the grill if you don't want to. Just have fun. That's, That's awesome. what barbecuing is all about. How long ago did you cook up this stuff? This stuff was just done before we got here. Oh, really? So everything, okay, so I can eat it. Everything is edible. Everything is edible. Okay, so maybe it's not warm right off the grill, but it's still But again, tasty, if right? we, we could have said, uh, let's, okay. let's, let's do that one, okay? And one. there you go. And even that, I would hit with a little bit of salt for you. <laughs> you know how it is. We got to make sure everything tastes really good as it's coming off, and let me oh, yeah. let me enjoy that with you. And you can tell too, this is this oh. is fall cooking right here. I'm still amazed though that some people hang out outside in the winter months doing this. I can still picture you with your toque on. You can. I did a winter <laughs> special. <laughs> you did. You eh? can do it. You can do it. That is so it's awesome. Fun stuff. All right, cool. So make sure that you get your uh, grill outside. I mean, it's the fall months. That doesn't mean even though it's a bit chilly and there's some rain and there's some snow. You know? Put the grill closer to the house. Put it up on the deck if you had to. You just have to shovel out just a little bit of that distance. That's beautiful and tasty stuff as well. Hopefully you're leaving some of this as well. Oh yeah, so we're going to leave it off on the show. Cleanandaffordable.ca is the website to go to and this is Celebrity Chef. I don't care. He's a celebrity. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rob Rainford.